Hey, 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 happy Saturday to everyone. I want to reach out to all of those who know someone suffering from a mental health illness. And that means all of us, everybody knows of somebody. Um, mental health is really hard, it's prevalent, and a lot of our cultures um, kind of overlook or bypass and they don't encourage um, people to get help a lot of times people go through their issues and sometimes it can end up something terrible something fatal um, just recently I saw a video that was made regarding the, the, the story of Iroquois McCree if you lived in Stanford Connecticut back in the 80s you remember Iroquois great guy and he was gunned down by the police officers at his house. His mother wanted him to get help to go back to the mental hospital because he was having an episode. And um, he had a knife in his hand. And even though he wasn't uh, holding any threat or going to attack, he was shot eight times. He was a paranoid schizophrenic. And obviously there was a breakdown that morning. Now, for us to avoid this happening in our lives, we have to get treatment. We have to get therapy. We have to get medication. Whether something is serious and crazy, like schizophrenia, when you know you hear the voices in your head and people telling you what to do, or the sadness of depression, or the anxious feelings of anxiety, whatever it is, it can be overwhelming for the individual. Just coming up, I, I just posted uh, a grief support group that I will be uh, offering through my church every first Monday of the month. I just posted it, so if you go over to my page, you will see that. We will get together on Zoom virtually, so you don't have to worry about coming out the house or what have you. And I would love for you to participate or share it with someone that you know that can use some help of coming confidentially together with another group of men and women and share their story of their loss because a lot of times you feel like you're going crazy when you're dealing with loss when you lose a loved one you have a breakdown a breakdown and it is just so hard you're not going crazy and you just need to talk to other people that feel that same way there's so much that we can be doing out there and I as you can see has become an advocate of mental health awareness to get out there stomp out that stigma I wrote my book crazy beautiful my life with bipolar di disorder and how I press on and it's just my story just telling just how I grew up I had a wonderful life a wonderful life but it became pretty hard once I got married and became a mother there's something that went off in my head that triggered me and I haven't been the same I haven't been the same the same since and um, it, it's just very hard so I work now with women depressed women um, dealing with divorces and how they can regain their hope regain their vision for their purpose and passion in life as you can see, I have done well. I dealt with two divorces. And in those divorces, I had very bad depression. And I did not get the support. Of course, my mama will always take care of me. But getting that understanding, even with my ex-husbands, to be able to say she's going through something. You know, it's just really hard and it's not their fault. You, you see what I'm saying? It's not, it's not anyone's fault. A lot of times you got to take care of yourself and get the help that you need. So let's work together. Let's work together. Let's work on ourselves. Let's work with our family and friends all around us. And speaking of family and friends, thank you for buying my book. I really appreciate the support. I really, really do. Um, for those that haven't got Crazy Beautiful, come on and get it. I have a second book that will be coming out at around the same time, Don't Grieve Alone. And it's a 30-day devotional. For, of comfort for those who are living with loss 
So, guys, I'm out here. I'm getting my hustle on. I really, really appreciate your support. So, take care. Have a wonderful day and be safe.